So this is for the T-step. We're going to fit this to a 2023 Ford Ranger Wild Track. Uh, we've got various components here, the mechanism, the mounting plate, the step itself, pack of bolts, two spacers. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to mount this on the left hand side, but it can be mounted on the right hand side as well. And underneath here, on the back of the chassis leg, there are two large bolts that the uh, bumper is fitted to. And they're a 24 mil socket. So we're going to undo those and with those are the bolts that we're going to use to fix the mounting plate. Yeah. So we're using a 24 mil socket on a, a half inch impact driver. If you haven't got one of those, use a ratchet. And we're just going to take these two bolts out here. A very long bolt. Okay, and then we're going to take our mounting plate and that is going to bolt straight back into there. But there are two spacers to use, which I will just grab. Just pause it. So we've got two spacer plates and they go in between the bracket uh, and the, uh, sorry, the, the mounting bracket and the chassis. The reason being, there's a bit of a raised section in the middle here. So that spaces that out either side of there. So I'm going to grab the mounting bracket and one bolt and I put the, the spacer on top of there and we're going to put that back in just start that off by hand and then take the other spacer put it on top pop the bolt through and slip that back into the hole and again just start that by hand just to get it sitting on there, like that. And then just make sure that those two spacer plates are square so they fit nicely into there. And then with our 24 mil socket again on the impact driver, just gonna tighten those up. And then we've got the mounting plate secured. So all we need to do now is fix the mechanism to the mounting plate. And you'll see that these are slotted so that we can change the angle of the step to suit however you want it fitted. Yeah. So we've got our mounting plate fitted. We're now gonna bolt the mechanism to the plate like this. We're gonna use the hexagon headed um, bolts that come in the kit with a washer and on the other side the nylock nuts with a washer and we're going to bolt those through there and then just leave them loose for the moment until we can establish exactly um, the angle that we want the step at to get it at the most sort of practical angle I'll try and do this with one hand so pop the bolt into the bracket lift it up reach over the top and secure it by hand with a nut and then uh, just grab the other bolt hexagon headed bolt washer and just pop that up again through that slotted hole washer nylon knot nut on top and then you can see that there's plenty of movement in this so now it's going to be a case of adjusting that how we want it and then tightening those bolts up. Uh, before you mount this up, you want to open up the mechanism uh, rather than have it compressed. So just pull it apart so it's sitting like this. Okay, so I think it looks, from what I can tell, that the best way of doing this is to have this sort of pointing 45 degrees off the corner of the truck, which is basically as far as it will go. You're not gonna want it like this because when the tailgate's down, you're not going to be able to step on it so twist it round and then with a 17 mil socket i put an extra extension on here just to make it a bit easier and a 17 mil spanner on top we're just going to tighten that up i'm just going to hold that over with my knee so that's the one bolt done up and the other one looks a little bit more awkward to get to uh, might just Change that over, let's have a look. 
might need to get a ratchet on this. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll go and grab a ratchet. I uh, can't get the gun in there. So we'll get a ratchet, put a socket on the inside of there, tighten up the other bolts, and then that's your, uh, your mechanism mounted into place. So now you can see we've tightened up both bolts there. Uh, had to use a ratchet on the other one, you can't quite get the gun in there. The mechanism is now fitted, you can see how that folds up and down. So we've got our step plate here, and that mounts into these two holes here, very simple. The two coach bolts with the square head, slide those into there, and that's on the underside of the tread plate. Okay, and then we're just going to sit that onto here, put those bolts through, through the two slotted holes. And then we've got the remaining nylock nuts and washers, again 17mm head on them, so they're M M10s I believe, and uh, we're just going to fit those under there. And again you've got plenty of room to change the angle of this, this tread plate so you can move it all over the place. So find the position that suits you best and then we'll just run up those nuts. I'm going to try it like that, see how that looks. You might want to put it at that angle so that obviously when the tailgate's down you want to be able to step on it cleanly so maybe actually that's a better angle there and that's going to fold up like that. So that folds up neatly out of the way. So we'll do it at that angle, give it a go. So I'm just going to get underneath with my gun. Don't need a spanner on this because they're square headed uh, bolts. Just get it nice and central and just nip those up. And that's that's that. Depth attached. Um, it'll take 150 kilograms on there. So you can use it to step up into the truck, tow it down. And then when you've finished with it, you can literally just push it with your foot up out of the way and then to bring it down put a bit of weight on it and now step into there that's a really handy handy set it's slightly more practical than the one that Ford have put around the side so the one this one here that comes on some of the models is great if you want to reach into the bed but if you actually want to get in the t-step is a really uh, really good alternative to that very simple installation should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes to install. Um, that's it. Very good product.